Love, peace, and soul, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. I have a deep channeling to put out. It's specifically for the Divine Feminine. Um, I may do a quick card pull, but this is more of a channeling that has been bestowed upon me to put out to the collective. I know it's dark. You probably can't even see, see me, but um, it's more about the message. So just listen, y'all. So check this. Divine Feminine, they have attempted to mark you for death. And it's an attempt because it will not be successful. For a while, we, we already know the calling that has been put on your life, the gifts that you have been bestowed upon, and the school of hard knocks that you had to attend in order for you to get you to this point. There's a few bullet points that need to be touched on. The first one I want to address is right now, right now it's basically the new moon in Libra. This is the time where a lot of people who have nefarious intentions towards you attempt to do dark magic rituals to bring you down and because of the portal that has been opening we already know the veils have been lit have been wide open you would think it would be the 31st but they uh, they they know that this is the time to do it before the full moon in Taurus before all hallows eve so this is why I'm putting out this channel in more so than doing a, a full reading. I may still pull, pull cards and do another video, but this is pertinent. I feel this is more for the divine feminines that have a specific calling on their life. Who are, you could say, in the upper echelon of the divine feminines? Because you know there's, there's different tiers. There's queens, there's empresses, there's high priestesses, okay? And because this is not for everyone. Everyone is not being marked for death at this point in time. For a while, being that you knew you were being targeted, you were trying to figure out who was doing this, right? So that way you could figure out their why. So you, you're... you're attempting to figure out who who would do something like this who is it is it a, a, a past friend is it a past lover is it the lover of someone who i thought or who there is a spiritual connection but because you have renounced the chasing of another energy and now you are chasing yourself you're chasing your bag you know, you chasing your connection to spirituality. You're, you're chasing your path. You always wanting to stay on your path. And because of that, just because of that fact alone, they have stepped up their antics. Because you ain't paying their ass no mind. Okay? So this is why I've been trying to figure out, like even my, myself, I've been trying to figure out who, who is doing this? Who is this? Who? Right now, is not the focus of who because you know why it's going to be revealed to you who soon enough remember in um the scooby-doo cartoons when they will be trying to figure out they'll be getting their clues and they trying to figure out who's doing it they like well maybe it's the maybe it's the professor maybe it's this person maybe it's that person the who is really and truly not important at this time because i'm feeling that the who is going to be revealed i feel closer to the winter solstice and what happens in scooby-doo the who is revealed once they're caught right so i feel letting the energies play out towards the winter solstice because there's going to be a lot of grand conjunctions i'm not going to pretend like i know specifically 
what they are. I'm not going to say specifically what planets they are. I'm going to do my research and come back. But I know that there's going to be some grand conjunctions in that vicinity. There's going to be a lot of planets going direct in that vicinity. And if it's not, and because we're going, this is the dark moon, right? New moon. We're going into the darker days, longer nights. So the next, the next light and astrologically speaking is going to be in Sagittarius season. So the who is going to be revealed during that time. That's when a lot of things will be coming to light and you'll be getting more um, clues as to who it is because you're going to see the repercussions of their actions. And of course, you know, it's not a definitive time. So it's going to start from there, from the end of Sagittarius season all the way up until next year. Okay. So that's one point. Don't worry about who it'll be revealed in due time. Now is not the time to prepare. Now is the time to buckle down the hatches because you're in it. You're in the thick of it. So that means everything that your intuition tells you to do, do it. Whether it's fasting, your body's going to tell you it's going to be day to day. It's not going to be no, um, you, it's not really going to be ceremonial. It's just going to be practical. Uranus and Taurus. It's going to be practical. The modalities that you need to implement into your life in order to protect yourself on every facet because they are attempting to mark you for death. But you are protected. You are divinely protected and highly protected. But that doesn't mean to be foolish. So because you are protected, this is going to be the kicker. This is what was revealed to me. Whew, it's deep. It's deep. What's going to wind up happening is that whatever death ritual... Or even if or even if they attempt to even physically send goons to you, okay? People to rob your house. You know, attempt to yeah. Yeah. They may even attempt to do that as well. It's gonna manifest in, in a certain way, right? What's gonna wind up happening is that you know how we have argon energy. We use crystals and things of that nature to protect ourselves. And most of the time, these spiritual objects that we use to protect ourselves take a hit for us. I've seen it happen. It's happened to me a couple times where argons have broken. You know, um, statues have broken. Candles have broken, right? They're taking the hit for you. What's going to happen is that there's going to be a human organ that is going to take the hit for you. It may be a family member. It may be a co-worker. It may even be, this is why I said the who does not matter. It may even be a frenemy. An enemy, someone that you, you know, thought was an enemy. You possibly even thought that that was the person that was doing the magic on you or was hating on you and jealous of you. And then you realize they're not even that powerful or you realize that you, you both start realizing that you have more in common than you thought. And then that enemy becomes a friend. It may even be that person that takes the hit for you. I'm telling you, this has been the download that has been revealed to me in my practicality and in my day-to-day -day for the past couple of weeks, okay? Basically, since the Aries full moon. So this is why I'm saying they're using this, this, this specific moon energy to attempt to get at you, to mark you for death. What they do not know, or they may know, but they still will try. Again, hold on, before I even get to that next point about the human organ, we know 
it's been coming out with a lot of people with a lot of readers and intuitive message messenger messengers have said how these people have been warned they have been warned and specifically elders have been warning these people there was an elder possibly an elder that they came to to get the magic done okay they have been warned and they still stubbornly what they did was behind possibly that elders back maybe went to someone else to assist them went to a few people could have even possibly teamed up with other people that don't mean you any good and teamed up with them in order to make the magic stronger for them to attempt to mark you for death it's serious we're in the thick of it now we're in the thick of it and i i, I i'm telling you the the realization i had the the the, the worst you know that that feeling in the pit of your stomach yeah it was one of those so divine feminine I implore you I implore you tread lightly and then it's like you don't know how it's like well I, if I don't know who how can I prepare if I don't know who what can I do Again, it's going to be in your practicality and in your day to day. Doesn't mean to stop living your life. Continue living your life as you have been. Continue to follow your calling as you have been. However, you have to implore, you have to be mindful like where you go. Okay? Like especially like like if you when you live in the hood, you know there's certain blocks at certain times. You don't walk down by yourself. Okay? Plain and simple. So it's the same thing when it comes to this. This spiritual marking that has been attempted to be put on the divine feminine. Okay? You know specifically what you should not be doing. You know you shouldn't be eating meat at this time. You know you should not be drinking alcohol at this time. You know even hitting the good old. You know what I'm saying? That good old green. Because the the what the I know for me personally, the good old green, it inhibits lucid lucidity in the at when you're in dream realm and when you're in the astral realm. Okay? So you don't need any type of anything to hold you back. And you don't need any a, a added weight when you're trying to run. You feel me? So so now back to this human organ. This is what's going to be the kicker. This is what's going to bring guilt to you. This is, you're going to feel, like I said, it could be anybody that's going to wind up being a human organ that's going to take the hit for you. But this is all part of the narrative. Because you have a higher calling upon your life, you must be protected at all costs. And remember, whoever takes the hit for you, they signed. They knew what they signed up for. Okay, when they enlisted as a soldier in the war. Yeah. So they're fulfilling their purpose. So you cannot feel guilty. You cannot feel guilty for whom whomever takes this hit for you takes this bullet for you okay you've seen it in plenty of narratives whether it's in a movie whether it is in the mythos whether it's in a tv yeah you cannot feel guilty or or maybe you know have the woulda shoulda couldas maybe if i had did this or maybe if I stayed away from them, it would have been someone else. It would have been someone else. Be mindful of using menstrual magic to protect your house. Because it's, om well, it depends on your energy. Your ancestors will let you know 
what modality. I'm not going to recommend any modality because what may may not or may work for me may not and may work for you. That's something that you have to meditate on with your team. Okay? Now, what's going to happen after that human organ takes the hit for you? It's going to weaken the energy of those principalities, entities, energies that were attempting to attack you. It's going to weaken them. It's going to, it's going to like drive them insane where to the point where they're not going to know. They're going to forget the mission. They're going to forget their mission. And then what's going to wind up happening is that they're going to return from whence they came. Right? But you have to protect yourself. Realize your strength. Uh, this is the time to no distractions. No more binge watching readings. This is why I'm like, I want to shorten my videos. No more binge watching readings. Only the ones that you know that you're going to get a pertinent message from. Okay? Because a lot of these readers, it's, it's all about the romance. And that's not what time it is right now. Yes, yeah, the Libra New Moon. Relationships. No. But remember, it's, it's not just romantic relationships. It's relationships with energies that are around you. Okay? In your circumference. And this is why I'm saying, because they're using this moon... It's the relationship that you have with certain people. It, like I said, it could be a co-worker. It could be a, fam a family member. I don't think it's going to be someone that's going to be like really close, like a, an immediate family member. It's not going to be an immediate family member. It's not going to be so, or, or your lover. or, or No, it's going to be someone that is in your vicinity. Someone that you do care about, like a friend. It could be like your grandmama, you know, your great grandmama, somebody that was already on their way to make the transition. Or like I said, a friend of me, someone that you y'all both realize you have more in common than you do <laughs> uncommon and beginning to become fond with one another. And just when that happens, they take the hit for you. OK, I do have some cards with me. This is why I'm out here grounding. I still have the opportunity to do so. Um, yeah, you have to be mindful at this time. You're going to have to be like, I, I'm realizing a lot of people have returned, so-called returned back to normalcy. Um, a lot of people have sent their, started sending their children back to school. Divine Feminine, I don't think you have that option. No matter how bad you want to get their asses out the house. Lord. Okay. I know. I don't think you have that option. Okay. You have to protect them at all times. Um, oh, also, I do want to say that how this um, these principalities may be able. Because I feel like this these energies, they're ascending. Because it's been coming out with a lot of readings. That they're attempting to send it to your home. This is why I said they may try to... Um, attempt to burglarize your home things of that nature but what's going to happen is they're going to hit the wrong house they're going to wind up hitting the wrong house they're going to wind up hitting um the house of like maybe an ex-police officer or something like that and their retribution is going to be swift it's going to be fiery and it's going to be torturous the energy that I feel that these people invoked as well is an energy from Tartarus. Now, Tartarus is an energy, it's like, the, it comes from the underworld of the underworld, okay? So this is the deep, dark, like, under the abyss, okay? They release this shit from under the jail. You feel what I'm saying? And it, it is very primordial energy. Because they knew how powerful you were because all the other energies they attempted to send your way were not it was not working. So now this is why they had to go deep of the deep underground and it, and they had to do some devious shit. I mean some devious deviousness. You understand? They did some they did some something dirty. 
and this is why their retribution is going to be of so high such a high caliber and it may even transcend down to their children as well it's not just going to be them reaping and suffering is going to be generations of suffering this is why you have to be mindful of who you breed for and who you have children with because you don't know what is in that blood you don't know what their blood did you don't know what kind of blood was spilt this is what i'm all, okay there was something else it was right there See, they don't want me to say too much. Okay. For a lot of divine feminines, you're going to... If it turns out to be, but of course, like I said, you are going to ponder who... You may feel like... Well, maybe it's like the divine masculine's karmic, right? You, you may feel like, see... But I'm not even chasing his ass. Like, I'm not even worried about him. Like, I, you know, you're going to regret even looking, looking in the direction of the divine masculine when this pops off. You're going to be like, yo, th the hell and the, the, the hell that I've been going through and I'm not even with this person. I reg you're going to regret it. You're going to, there's going to be guilt. There's going to be regret. Even though you are protected. Right? And, and you know, like I said, the people that do take the hit for you, they signed up for it. They, this is what they enlisted for. They knew when they joined the war, when they became a soldier, that this is what it was. So you can't feel guilty and you can't even regret. Because it, 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 pull, it catapulted you onto this path. I remember when it was something similar. Like I remember when I was a teenager, um, I was a, I was seeing this dude, and then I realized he was he was saying that he was just friends with his baby mother, but then I realized they were still seeing each other. So I was like, all right, well, you still seeing each other? Well, it's all right, because I, I wasn't. I was like, it's all good, because I'm not giving up no pussy. So, you know, it's all good. You might as well just you know go back with your baby mother, and then and his I knew his baby mother. Like we used to kind of like hang out or whatever. Or she was trying to be my, she was trying to be my friend. Are y'all listening? She was attempting to be my friend. And then I was like, okay. Like I said, I didn't have any hard feelings. I just moved on <laughs> to someone who. Looked way better than homeboy. Okay, had way more class, and I wasn't paying no no mind. And they and they was attempting like to follow me. Like, well, who, well, who's this? Who you? I was like, none of your business. They literally started following me and my new joint down the, down the block. I was like, uh, they was like, nah, y'all don't want to chill. I was like, no. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I will never forget that. And they couldn't understand. I guess she even liked pussy too. She liked pussy too. That's why. she. They was like trying to get me on some threesome shit. And I was like, I don't want near none of y'all. Okay? Divine Feminine. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Pre. Now I can't even. I'm not even. Like I said, you can't prepare. Because you're in the thick of it already. It is but pull up your bootstraps. That's it. They're attempting to mark you for death. But you are protected. And it will never be successful. Never. Not in this lifetime. Not in this dimension or in any other realm. They cannot touch you. You are of the high court. This is why I'm saying there's going to be a human organ. Because... Think about like in times of antiquity when there was royalty. Didn't they have people that stood in front of the throne to take the hit for you? If anyone tried to throw an arrow or a spear, you had servants that tasted the food before you even did to make sure it wasn't poison. And if they died, they died. They knew their role. 
They knew what they signed up for. So this is why you cannot feel guilty when this comes about. Okay? So, let me pull. Let me pull a card. Let me pull a card for y'all. Listen. All of your modalities, use them. All, all at once if you have to. Okay? Everything that we've been studying, everything we've been building about and talking about in these readings, the mudras, the crystals, the meditation, the affirmations, the fasting, the, the um, everything, everything that we talked about, continue to use them because you got to help your ancestors out as well. Okay? I feel uh, because they're working overtime. They're working overtime. Your, your, your spirit entourage, yeah, they're working overtime. This is why you got to show them gratitude. This is why you got to feed them energy. Okay? Crucial at this point in time. All right, let me pull a quick card. Wow. Heavenly mercy. Crystal angels, triple four. Smoky quartz. That's a protective crystal. Okay. This is it. Focus on that mandala. Wow. Our angel uses L. Use L. All right. Hold on. Here we go. Heavenly mercy. We bring you the gift of heavenly mercy. As you grow spiritually, your energy field becomes more substantial. Your thoughts and actions carry more karmic weight in the world. As your power increases, your ability to do good increases too. Your positive words can have a poignant effect on others. So too can the very human moments where you may be having an off day and unintentionally respond to another in a way that is not unconditionally loving. We do not want you to be afraid of becoming powerful. You, you hear that? We know that most often you are going to make a positive contribution with your power. We also know that sometimes you will wish you could undo a choice you have made and its effect. Didn't I just say that? That you're going to wish that you never even looked in the direction of the divine masculine to cause all of this? Yo. All right now. All right. Are you listening? No. To help you, we offer our karmic protection where the destructive impact of your actions is softened and the positive effect of your actions is enhanced. As you grow in power and impact, our gift of heavenly mercy will surround you, aligning your actions with divine will and blessing you and all affected by you with divine compassion. That's why I said it will not be like your immediate family members. This human organ. It will not be your immediate. It will not be those that's like your ace boom. You understand? It will be those though that you will feel guilty. You will feel away. As you grow spiritually, your energy feel increases. There is a spiritual weight that is generated in the soul and it translates into your thoughts, words, and actions, carrying greater power, influence, and impact in the world. Your thoughts can become more powerful in effect than the actions that some may take. So your thoughts will be stronger than the fucking graveyard, um, um, fucking mummy digging up blood clot cops and all of them thing there. You understand me? Your, just your mind and your thoughts alone is more powerful than these motherfuckers walking through the graveyard. You feel me? Your feelings can become powerful enough to transform the energy of a room or even a group of people. Some enhanced souls affect entire cities as they travel. Their light triggering, clearing, and uplifting the entire frequency of their that place. Pause. That's another bullet point I wanted to bring up as to why this hit will bounce off of you and will 
and will hit someone else is because of your energy it's because like your because your ancestors are surrounding you as at like a guard as a fence it had that energy has no way but has no, nothing it can do but ricochet off of you and hit somebody else Okay. Where your impact might have been limited, though just as important to having an effect on one person when you speak, the power of your increasing spiritual impact can cause the energy of your words to be broadcast far and wide throughout the inner planes. Those who are sensitive enough will be consciously able to see and feel you as they meditate or sleep. You will be working for the light even when you think you are not child this is so deep as you continue to embody more spiritual light your energy field expands to accommodate it your ability to have an effect simply through your presence becomes increasingly tangible and far-reaching this will only continue as you go grow you become increasingly like the sun just shining whether others can always see or hear you consciously or not you are there giving light, radiant, with higher consciousness and supporting life. The sun is a life-giving force with both consciousness and power. Without it, there is no life. Yet without protection against it, it would be too powerful for life on earth to thrive. The effect of its consciousness would be overwhelming, destructive. Earth has a massive energy field that helps filter the powerful light of the sun. So there is a moderation of its power, adjusting it so it can support life. There is no ill intention in the sun. You see what I'm saying? I hope y'all hearing this. It is what it is. Yet the strength of it needs softening to be of use to life on earth. The divine quality that allows this to happen is heavenly mercy. It is the intelligent function of the divine that blunts and absorbs impact. The the, 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 the It is the intelligent function of the divine that blunts and absorbs impact through various mechanisms of grace so that divine power supports life, not death. As you grow in power, the divine notices and offers you a gift of heavenly mercy. Mercy allows for the edges of, of your energy your thoughts, your words to be softened. As your energy grows in power, what seems to be a gentle word to you may seem much more aggressive or intimidating to another person who is not used to the same level of power. You will be supported by mercy as you learn how to manage the intensity of your energy so you do not unintentionally repel others when you want to attract them to the light. What would you do if you stepped into the burning sun or on an exceptionally hot day and the powers of it felt too much to bear you will retreat into the darkness it is a natural instinct this this is also a bullet point i wanted to bring up is that these attempts on your life it is a necessary evil i saw it it's a necessary evil because you will not be propelled to realize who you are you will not be real you would not realize the role that you are needed to play and you still may even be in the dark as to this high calling that you have sakaya sakaya ah 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 All right, guys, let me wrap it up. This doesn't mean you have to stop your growth. What did I say? Didn't I say carry on with your life? Restrain your light or become afraid of the impact you're going to increasingly have in the world. It simply means that as you grow, you need to be aware that not everyone will be growing to tolerate higher frequencies at the frequency comfortable for you. The field of divine mercy will help you gain and wisely use all 
the benefit of your increasing power for the greatest good, while in ensuring that your efforts assist and attract others to the light rather than overwhelm them. Finally, this oracle brings you a message. If you have been struggling with an issue that feels too much for you, use the following healing process to pray for heavenly mercy. Mercy will bring you respite when the light of your spirit has grown too bright for your body, emotions, and mind to be able to process. In nature, there is night and day. The earthly part of your nature is sacred. Animal body needs a break from the light to absorb its life-giving properties and to integrate and heal itself. Mercy will give your body the spiritual shade it needs to recover from exposure to light, which has become overwhelming. In that shade, it can rest, recover, repair, to meet the light again, adapting to a gentler and more effective pace. Heavenly mercy will help you recover and repair yourself from your struggles whilst protecting you from too much too soon. Then you will find in due course that what may have once seemed too much to handle naturally becomes easier to successfully resolve. As an additional note, this card also carries the energy of Archangel Uriel. If you feel connected to that angelic being or need confirmation that this angel is with you, or want to connect more deeply with that angelic God, this card and healing process will help you do so. Wow. Look at this. Say this aloud. I ask for karmic absolution and heavenly mercy now through all levels of my entire being. I ask for forgiveness and I forgive myself for any lack of skill as I am learning to express power with effectiveness, awareness, and compassion. I am so grateful for the power with which I am blessed and so open to be shown by conditional love. The best ways in which it can be used to serve the divine plan unfolding. The divine teaches me with compassion how safe it is for me to be powerful through divine grace and unconditional love so be it why not say that it's a number 18 it's a nine it's a completion okay and th and this is i feel like this is going to be the last stand this is going to be the last stand as far as that principality and that energy okay whoever that is who or whoever they are okay and because they 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 gonna they gonna reap theirs they are going to be placed in the lowly place from which they call that energy from as i said that energy is coming from tartarus from the underworld of the underworld and that's where they're going to be dragged to okay uh, it's, 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 it's deep this was a deep channeling y'all um this is out of love this is not to spread fear this is out of love because I felt fear creep up once the realization came to me and the download came to me and then I said no it's out of love because it's my job to inform my fellow divine feminines right so I'm grateful for y'all you in the thick of it do what you know you need to do. You have been prepared. You have been. Gather your supplies, your rations, okay? Continue to be who you are. Continue on your path. Do not stop living. Do not cower in fear because then that's when that energy will be able to take you. Continue to fight. And with that, I'm going to see y'all on the check-in as always. Peace.